David, Lashana Tova. That means wishing you a good year. We're right in the midst of the 10 days of awe coming to you from the 10 days of prayer virtual Zoom. Uh, digging the well, Cyril, we are totally with you, brother, as you look to connect to the saints of old and the move of the Holy Spirit to uh, reawaken those focuses. And uh, Cyril asked me to uh, do a short video clip of a prayer for Israel. And I tell you, beloved, uh, as a Jewish believer uh, uh, coming into the church and loving my Gentile family as my own, we are one in Messiah. We are in a new day a day that Israel is awakening, a day that we are shifting, coming into the fullness of the Gentiles, comma, and so it says all Israel will be saved. I believe, beloved, that, that, that this is an era of time that we will come into the fullness of both. So whenever anyone asks me to pray for Israel, I always include the church because God has put on our heart to make known to the body of Messiah, to the body of Christ, that we in the church have a great role to play, to come into agreement with the covenants that the Lord has to restore the firstborn and to restore his family, to make us whole. And just think for a moment of all those Jewish believers that founded the church and took Yeshua out to the nations so that God's children from the nations could believe in him and become one with them and receive Israel's covenants and promises. And that was the one new man in the first century, first couple of centuries that changed the world. Rome could not contend. And so now to awaken Israel, the Lord looks to restore the former glory for the latter glory. And here we are, beloved, praying into it. And so we, our heart is with you. Our intercession is with you. Father, we come before you in the name of, of your son, the matchless name of Yeshua, Mashiach, Jesus Christ, the Messiah of Israel. And Lord, we pray out for the fullness of your gospel to the Jew first and then to the nations, that as we come into this fullness, Lord, that you would bring us together like night never before and ignite a love and unity that will fulfill your son's heart cry of John 17, that the glory of God would be released upon the family as we look to rebuild the walls of love and unity as we look to refocus the gospel on its kingdom principle, which is to the Jew first, that you would begin to shift us now into this alignment, not, not for Jews to be like Gentiles or Gentiles to be like Jews, but for us to love one another. As it says in Ephesians, those from near, those from far, to be brought into this beautiful one new humanity that Yeshua created at the cross. Lord, would you do something new, something special as we move out of this Shemitah year now into a new cycle, Father? Would you draw your body together between Jew and Gentile like never before? Would you heal racial divides like never before? Would you bring us into greater clarity and understanding regarding our end time views that we would not separate and divide over these issues, but we would come together as a body, as communities to, to come together in prayer, to take back the land and the souls that you are calling us to stand in the gap for during these days. And so, Father, as we pray for Israel's awakening, we also pray for a fire to come out of it, for the gospel to go out to the nations like never before. That as we touch your heart 
and allow you to bring us back together in this beautiful one you man, that it would ignite something special in the gospel, a fire, Lord, that could not be contained. And so, Father, we ask also that as those first Jews gave their lives, Father, for, for God's children from the nations to come in to the covenants of Israel through you, Lord, through the sacrifice you made at the cross and the resurrection. I pray now that we in the church would take on these covenants to your firstborn to restore them that are in the word of God. As it says in Ezekiel, it's not for your sake, O house of Israel, that we will do these things, but for the sake of your holy name, that you have covenanted to restore Israel as we come into this time. And Lord, that the church would take on this role, call on the breath that you outlined to Ezekiel, call on the winds that it would enter these slain and that they may live. And Lord, as we begin to shift back on that focus, that it would ignite your gospel, that it would ignite your gospel and that we could fulfill your call to, to reach and preach the gospel in every nations and that the Jews would say, Baruch haba Bashem Adonai, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The two requirements for you to return, that the gospel, Lord, would go out to the four corners, to all the nations, and that the Jewish people would say a blessing because you would have made yourself known to them. Lord, we're coming into this time. And Lord, we pray a blessing on digging the well's ministry, that it would dig deep into, the, into your heart Father, to help to bring about revival and awakening. May the Lord God of Israel richly bless you during this 10 days of all. Lots of love to you in Yeshua.